We're going to look at two more special cases involving the dot product of what can happen, and in doing so, I'll show you sort of how to use the formula as well uh, in general. So, here are two vectors. Let's say we want to find the angle between them, 2, 1, and 4, 2. So we graph them, 2, 1 looks like this, roughly, and then 4, 2 looks like this. kind of right on top of each other. So what you'll probably notice is that the angle between them is actually zero, right? They're they're sort of they're they're like on the same line. So the angle between them is zero. So if you noted that or you had a graph, you wouldn't have to do this computation, but I'm going to show you um, in case you don't have graph paper how the computation works in general. So just recall our our good old formula here, which is that cosine of the angle between two vectors is the dot product divided by the product of the magnitudes. And so what I tend like to like to do when I do these problems is I just kind of go off to the side. So again, let's call this U maybe. Let's call this V. I go off to the side and I find the p the pieces I need to know. So I need to know the magnitude of u. The magnitude of u is just the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared square root of 5. I need to know the magnitude of v, right? I'm dealing with the bottom part of this formula here. And that is the square root of 4 squared plus 2 squared, which equals the square root of 20. And then I also need to know the dot product between the two vectors, which is 2 times 4 plus 1 times 2. And that equals 8 plus 2, which is 10. So now I have all the pieces I need. Got my magnitude of u, magnitude of v, dot product, plug them right into the formula. So that means that the cosine of the angle is u dot v, we found was 10, divided by magnitude of u, was the square root of 5, times the magnitude of v, which was the square root of 20. And that equals 10 divided by, now when you multiply radicals, remember it's just the square root of 5 times 20, which is the square root of 100. But this is just 10 divided by the square root of 100 is 10, and that equals 1. And so we've got cosine of an angle equals 1, or if you didn't catch it here, you could do that the angle equals cos inverse, cos inverse of 1 but we know that that's zero degrees and if you didn't you'd put it in your calculator and you'd see it's zero degrees and that's precisely what happened right so if that happens what we say is that the vectors are parallel so the vectors are parallel now I know parallel is a weird word to use it's a weird word to use because they're they're right on top of each other but remember Vectors aren't really in any, they're not really anywhere, right? They, they can be everywhere. Um, they're not in any situated place in the plane. Um, so to be parallel just means they're facing the same direction. That's what we mean with regard to vectors. So that's one thing that can happen. Um, another way, another way they can be parallel, to be honest, is if, well, let's look at the situation here. 3, 4, uh, 3, 4, this vector, again, we'll call this, We'll call this one u and this one v. So th um, 3, 4 looks like this. And negative 6, negative 8. Gonna have to extend a little bit. Under negative 8. Looks like this. And so by the picture, you can see that the angle between them is clearly 180 degrees. Um, 
but how would that show up in the computation? So again, the computation, I like to go off to the side, find the magnitude of u. That is 3 squared, square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which equals the square root of 9 plus 16 is 25. Oh, it's a special, special triangle. So it's 5. And the magnitude of V is um, the square root of negative 6 squared plus negative 8 squared, which is the square root of 36 plus 64 is the square root of 100, so that's 10. Uh, and the dot product, the dot product is, I'm going to do the dot product up here just because I'm running out of room. The dot product is 3 times negative 6 plus 4 times negative 8. And that equals negative 18 plus 32. which equals uh, negative 18 plus 32. Oh, it's negative 18 minus 32. There we go. So it's uh, negative 50. So now I've got now I've got my dot product, magnitude of u, magnitude of v. So I can come down here and figure out the angle because the cosine of the angle is the magnitude of, or the dot product is 50 divided by the magnitude of u is 5 the magnitude, no, sorry, the, the, um, the dot product is negative 50 negative 50, sorry, so fix that if you didn't negative 50, and the den uh, denominator's got magnitude of u, which is 5 the magnitude of v is 10, so this is negative 50 over 50 which equals negative 1 and so the cosine of an angle equals negative 1 whether you picked it up here or the next step when you do cosine inverse you'd get that this is 180 degrees and so we also say the vectors are parallel here too I know that's strange, if they're facing in the exact opposite direction, but um, that there are two ways for these vectors to be parallel. One is if they're facing the exact same direction, and that happens when the angle between them is zero degrees, or they're facing the exact opposite direction, in which case they're also parallel, and the angle between them is 180 degrees. Okay, so um, pay, pay attention in terms of like wording of questions. If, if you're asked, f determine if the, the angle between the... Um, or determine what the angle between the two vectors are, or is. And you'd say, in this problem, you'd say, oh, it's zero degrees. And in this problem, you'd say 180 degrees. If the question was, are the two vectors uh, perpendicular or orthogonal, parallel or neither, and you got these two sets of vectors, in both of these situations, you'd just say the word parallel. They're parallel, okay? So slightly different wording, but... Um, so just make sure you, you're, you pay attention to that detail.